beautiful people. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Chi Chi and welcome to today's video. I know some of you guys might have seen my last video where I talked about finally getting into nursing school and I am still riding that high. I still cannot believe I actually made it y'all like half of like part of me is still wondering if this is all a dream but if you guys would like to check that out i will link that here or here and it's a chit chat it's a pretty long video so grab a snack i know a lot of y'all are quarantined right now <laughs> so if you got some time you know just check that video out and i really want that to be a little bit of motivation for you guys um, who might be struggling and really trying you know, your hardest to get into nursing school when the odds might be stacked against you. So I just wanna let you know that it is possible. You just gotta persevere, you gotta keep going and y'all are gonna get through it, I promise. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a nursing school haul, y'all. I have been watching a million of these videos. Like I have literally been watching what everybody's been buying, what they say is useful, what they think is gonna be like really helpful during nursing school. And I've been adding everything, you know, to my Amazon cart the last, you know, four weeks. <laughs> So I have picked up a lot of stuff and honestly, I'm still missing a couple things, mainly um, textbooks and y'all don't get me started on how expensive textbooks are, but textbooks for nursing school are literally gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Like, uh, it's ridiculous, but y'all, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are interested in what I have to show you guys. I have some things that, you know, a lot of YouTubers have been recommending, but at the same time, I have some stuff that I haven't seen a lot of people um, talk about. So hopefully that's gonna be a little bit interesting for you guys. And yeah, I went to a bunch of stores. I got a lot of stuff from Amazon, Walmart, Dollar Tree. So I think I'll separate the video into like where I got the things from. And yeah, so sit back, relax, and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so we are gonna be starting with Dollar Tree. And the first few things that I picked up are these cute little planner stickers. Like, I hope I can like hold all of them up for you guys. So I picked up several of these from the Dollar Tree. They are super cute. They were literally only a dollar. And it's, you know, it's super motivating because you know you want to look in your planner, you want to be motivated. I love seeing colors, I love seeing like different designs and stickers and stuff. Yeah, I picked up some of these. They were a dollar each, so that was a steal. And I got a lot of basic stuff from Dollar Tree, I think, you guys. So they definitely have a lot of great affordable options for nursing school. So don't knock the Dollar Tree, guys. So next, I got a pack of Bic pens so the thing about pens is that they always go missing somebody's gonna ask you for a pen and maybe I'm just like one of those but I hate giving out my nice pens to people so when I go to clinicals especially like if I'm working in the hospital and I'm currently a patient care tech so I always need pens with me like in my scrubs so every time I take pens to the hospital I promise you I will not get it back by the end of the shift so I just don't mind like I actually kind of like these pens and I don't mind if you know if somebody takes these, cause they write really good, but at the same time, you get like what, 10 for a dollar. So these are only like 10 cents each. So I think that's a really, really good affordable option for pens for clinicals. So next from the Dollar Tree, I got some correction tape. And I know that I will not be able to use this during clinicals because when you do make a mistake on your report sheets, you're supposed to, you know, make one single line to cross it out and then write over it and initial it. But this is gonna be for my notes because I hate taking really pretty notes and then I make a mistake and you know, just Xing everything out just makes the whole page look all messed up and ugly. So this will definitely come in handy for keeping my notes nice and clean. All right, so the next item we got from the Dollar Tree are erasers. So I don't really write with pencils a whole lot, but when I do, I definitely find that the eraser is the part that definitely goes first. Like I'll have a million pencils, the eraser will be gone, but the pencil still writes. And I don't like throwing out pencils for that reason. So some erasers will definitely come in handy and you get a good amount, you get six and they're really big. So that's a really good deal. And speaking of erasers, I got a pack of 24 pencils from the Dollar Tree. And that is a really, really good um, savings. Cause you got more, I think it was originally 16, but they gave you some more. So that's really good. And yeah, I hate mechanical pencils cause I can't be the only one who thinks this. I hate when you're writing and they have like that really squeaky sound to them. Like, I know I'm not crazy, right? 
I'm not the only one who hears those pencil squeaks, so that's a pet peeve of mine. So I just love, you know, your classic number two pencils, regular pencils, and that's good for me. To go along with those pencils, we have a pack of four, or is this two? No, a pack of two pencil sharpeners, and you know, they're kind of cool. They're, they have like this really intricate, like zigzag design. I guess that's where all the shavings go, but two for a dollar, I don't think that's bad. So yeah, got some pencil sharpeners. Oh, I got this little notebook. It's a cute little notebook. I wanted to take this to clinical with me because I see a lot of people um, putting notebooks in their pockets. You know, that way if they have questions or if there are certain notes that they want to take around um, during procedures or if there's something that their preceptor or instructor says during clinical, they have it with them. They can, you know, they can write it down. That way they can reference it later or if they're doing like um, patient's history, patient's vitals, they can kind of write everything down so they don't forget it and they can chart it all later. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. It's really sparkly. It's white. It's a neutral. I love my neutrals. So yeah, I thought this was really pretty. Like the glitter doesn't come off or anything. So that is great. I would not want this all over my uniform. So I actually got two of these, but I think the other one's still in my car. So for a dollar, I think this is really, really cute. From the Dollar Tree, I actually also got a little thing of lotion. And I guess a lot of people don't think about this, but I'm already a tech in the hospital and believe me, you wash your hands a million and one times a day during your shift. Your hands will get so raw and dry and ashy and cracky and it is the worst feeling. Like literally I feel like my hands have aged like 30 years. So it is essential to keep some lotion in your scrub pocket that way. After you wash your hands, you can just lotion up because hospitals don't always have lotion on hand for you. And, and I hate just always bothering somebody for their lotion. So it was only a dollar. I know I'm going to go through this in like probably like a week, but definitely a good buy. So next from the Dollar Tree, I got some dry erase markers. So this is a pack of three and they have the little um, eraser head on the, on the cap. So again, you're going to be writing on your patient's boards. You're going to be writing your names, the doctor's names, the patient's plan of care. So that is definitely an essential. That way the patient knows what's going on. And these, we actually got this from the dollar store as well. These are highlighters. So these are double ended highlighters. You always want to highlight what's important. So highlighters will definitely come in handy and you get three colors here. So that way, You've got some cute colors to kind of differentiate your notes and make everything look nice and cute. And finally, guys, this by no means is like an essential, but I thought this was adorable. So I got <laughs> I got some keychains to put on my backpack for well, not for clinical because I wouldn't want to take um, these fuzzy things into the hospital, but I want to put these on like my actual school backpack. Like this is so cute. It's like an avocado like keychain pom pom. Like, isn't that adorable? And this one's like, <laughs> it's a plush little sushi, guys. Like, this is so freaking adorable. So yeah, I wanna put this on my backpack and it's cute, like it's fun. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not an avocado person, but this avocado was freaking adorable. So yeah, love that. And that's just gonna be a little thing to personalize my school bag. All right, you guys, so that is it for Dollar Tree and we're gonna move on to Target next, but Target is really quick. I only got like a couple things from there. So the first thing I got from Target was this five star note binder. This I think will come in handy. I am not a binder girl. I have never liked binders. Binders are so bulky. I hate taking them around with me and oh, while this was a little bit pricey, I'm not gonna lie, I think I spent like close to $13 on this, but at the same time, I am able to put as much loose leaf paper, as you can see, I can put as much loose leaf paper in it as I want. I can put dividers in it. It already comes with some dividers. And you know, that way, it functions as both a notebook and a binder and it's soft and flexible. That way I can fit it into my backpack. So it's only one and a half inches. Like, again, I am not the only one out there. I literally still have notebooks and binders from like second grade in my, in my basement. And that's not okay, guys. Like I've come to realize that for the most part, if you really have the information like down, you don't really reference a lot of your old notes. So 
I am not one to have a million notebooks because I never finish my notebooks. And I think it's just so wasteful to like go through like 20 pages and then like never use that notebook again. You know what I mean? So definitely I think a note binder will help me throughout my program. My program is 12 months long. So for all the classes that we go through, I plan to have everything in here. And when I do my notes, I don't necessarily plan to like make excessive notes where I am highlighting every single thing. It's supposed to be like the most important con, you know what I mean? Like the most important concept. So the way I'm looking at it, I really hope that this will be sufficient for me for the whole year. If not, I'll probably just grab a second one of these. But yeah, I definitely don't want to keep buying more notebooks and binders because they literally just add to all the paper clutter that I've had over the years. And as a student, I realized they're not super effective because again, I can't remember the last time I've ever actually gone back and really referenced something from years ago. So, yep, I got that. And lastly from Target, I actually just picked up some colored pencils. I love the, um, when I'm doing like anatomy notes and things about like how things move through the body. I loved coloring and just kind of like doodling like the, the process of things. So colored pencils I think will really be very useful. And again, I don't want to have a really, really bulky um, backpack. So I loved how these were dual ended. So you have two colors. I don't know if you can see from that side, but you can have two colors on each end. That way, you know, kind of save some space. You have a lot of variety. I think it comes with what? There are 12 double-ended colored pencils. So what, you get 24 colors. So I think that's a steal. This is like $3.99. So yeah, you can't go wrong with that. And I definitely think that's a must have for when you're going to nursing school. All right, you guys, so let's move on to Walmart next. So, I haven't shown you all my planner, but like I said, the way I got a bunch of stickers from Dollar Tree, I got a sticker book from Walmart, and this is literally the cutest thing. You get, what, 1,767 stickers. And I think this was like five or six dollars, so again, not bad. So I hope you guys can see, but you know, you have like a bunch of different stickers that you can put in your planner. I've already used some of them, so. It's really cute, really colorful, really fun. Yeah, as you can see, I've used some of the flags already. You know, just a bunch of really cute stuff to make your planner look cool and cute and like fun and, you know, again, making you wanna be productive. That's, that's the whole goal of 2020. We're gonna be productive, y'all. We're really gonna be getting into these books, honey. Your girl is shooting for them A's. Pray for me, I don't know if it's gonna work out, but. We are speaking that into existence. I am trying to keep that 4.0. We gonna, we gonna see if I make it though. We gonna see. <laughs> but yeah, so this I definitely know will help me keep on track. So I love, love, love that. Next from Walmart, I got these Paper Mate Ink Joy pens. And I absolutely love these. These write so well, so, so well. And it comes in the pack of four. And these are some of my favorite pens. And I'm not like a pen junkie, but I will say these write pretty darn good. So these are the ones I'll be doing my notes in. These do not smudge, they dry super fast. They're, uh, I think they're a pretty fine tip. I like, that's the kind of stuff that I like to write with. So these, ain't nobody borrowing these pens, honey. But these are gonna stay in my school bag so I can do my notes. And yeah, love them. I would highly, highly recommend these. Next, I got a mini stapler. I know a lot of people say that during your clinicals and in class, you're gonna have a lot of papers given out to you, a lot of handouts and things like that. And you just, it comes in handy to be able to have a stapler. That way you're not like scrambling with like a million things and like, you know, everything's falling all over the place and you just look very disorganized and disheveled. <laughs> so everyone's like, oh, they brought a stapler and everyone's asking them for their stapler. And I'm like, you know what? Let me get the stapler. I think that's gonna really help. I really think this is gonna come, come in clutch. I got a mini calculator and it's in pink. <laughs> but it's the only one they had and I was just like, whatever. It's It was like a dollar and 20 cents. So I got this very specifically for clinicals actually, because I know we do a lot of like drug calculations and like, like ounces and all that kind of stuff, like conversion factors. So. 
I wanted to keep this in my scrub pocket or in like my clipboard because I don't know if it's gonna be okay for us to like whip out our phones, do the math on there. So just so it doesn't look like I'm, you know, on my phone when I'm not, I'm really not. I have this to just kind of help with the math and stuff like that. So that's why I got that. Next from Walmart, I got some post-it tabs. So I got these to kind of put in my textbook when I want to mark something that's important, put these in my notes, when I, get, when I want to highlight like a concept or a topic that might be on a, a quiz or an exam. So these, you know, I really don't know why I got this, but I think my reasoning behind this, I got like this little keychain from Walmart and it has like, it's like really cute. It has like a little tropical design and it has a bunch of like blank index cards on it. So I think my reasoning for buying this was I wanted to kind of keep this in my scrub pocket as well. And if there were specific concepts that I wanted to remember, like um, lab values or um, steps on a procedure, if there were certain things that I was actively learning and like my preceptor would give me advice on or like explain this is how you do this, this is how you do that, I wanted to write it here that way I can always reference, okay, when I'm doing this, when I'm inserting a Foley, this is what you do. When you're starting an IV, this is what you do. Like just big concepts and big topics. That way I can kind of always have this on hand. It's not meant to be like in depth notes or anything, but it's just kind of like big ideas, like buzzwords that are supposed to remind me, like to pull certain things from my memory so I can remember how to do things. So we'll, we'll see if my idea actually is useful, but that is why I got this. And I think, I think, I think it'll work. I think it'll work, guys. And finally, from Walmart, the last thing I got was a mini white, whiteboard, what do you call these? Whiteboards, dry erase boards. It's magnetic. <laughs> so I know for a lot of things, um, like a lot of concepts, one thing I really did was to draw it out. Like when I was doing the pathway of like blood through the body and the heart, I would draw it out and stuff like that. So this is the kind of thing where I don't want to necessarily make that, that, in my notes like 10 times. So I, I would just use something like this, write the pathway out, erase it, write the pathway out, erase it, write it out, erase it. So that way I can kind of get that to stick in my memory without necessarily having to write notes over and over and over on it. So that's why I got this. Hopefully it's gonna be a good study tool. This was also literally like a dollar. So that's a pretty, pretty good price. <sighs> okay, y'all, next is Amazon. And we got some of the, the more exciting stuff from there. You know, like the, the, the more nursing stuff. So let's get into that next. Yo, I can't even hold the box. Like this, this is literally the box, guys. I think it's like 50 pounds. Oh my gosh. So as you guys know, every YouTuber, one of the first things they tell you to get on Amazon is a stethoscope case. So I got this on Amazon. This was one of the more basic, one of the more minimal ones I that I saw. I know a lot of people have the one with like the heart rhythm, with the heart and like the stethoscope. That, that one's cute too, but I feel like a lot of people have them to the point that I feel like mine would probably get mixed up with somebody else's. And also again, I just wanted something a little bit more minimal. So the design on this is again, just the brand name. Can barely see it it's black um, one thing I will say that I don't like that I did like with that other really popular one is that this strap to be quite honest it's kind of flimsy I really hope that this doesn't break with the weight of like my stethoscope and everything else in it um, we'll see if not I mean this is that's something really easy that can be replaced but definitely keep that in mind that's the one con I will say about this one but overall I think it's really well made. It comes, this is what the inside looks like. It has like a little pouch that you can put like your pen light and a bunch of other stuff in. Your stethoscope would go here, so. And it has like a really, a really nice lining inside. So that'll keep everything nice and safe. So I know you guys have heard me talk a million times about all the stickers that I've got to put in my planner. So this is the planner that I chose off of Amazon. Again, I really enjoy the blue and white florals. It's not anything that's in your face. It's really calm, serene, neutral on the inside, on the outside. But with all the stickers I put in, it's really fun and like, you know, it's 
really fun on the inside. I will say it's really cute. They have like really cool motivational quotes and you know, just a lot of like, uh, what do you call it? Like personal motivation type things. But the one thing that I did not know when I purchased this um, planner was that it is a vertical planner. And I'm not used to that. I'm used to like the horizontal um, boxes and everything. So that's definitely something to get used to. Like I'm used to kind of just writing everything across. But it's, it's a really good planner, I'm not gonna lie. You get weekly views, you get monthly views, you get daily views. So you can definitely plan everything out and you're never gonna miss anything. So definitely recommend it. It's really cute. Like again, look at, look at the gold detailing and everything guys and the gold spiral. Like it's a really, really pretty planner. So definitely get you a planner. You need to stay organized in nursing school. We had our orientation today and we are already getting homework. We are already like getting our assignments. So I can tell that it is going to be one rough year. Let me tell y'all, tell me why one of my professors told us that we are going to cry during nursing school. So I, I'm really trying not to start bawling my brains out. So hopefully the more organized I am from the beginning, the less of a chance I'm gonna be crying and struggling and fighting my way through nursing school because I have heard stories, you guys, and <laughs> I'm trying to minimize the the roughness of it the best i can so get yourself a planner stay organized people and we are going to get through it so next on my list from amazon i got some what do you call these fine liners so they're like pen markers i want to say they write really smooth the the lines they make are very very thin love them I'm able to color cord my notes, my planner, everything that I write, and that's one thing that really helps me. I'm a visual learner. I need the different colors so that I can separate the different concepts and everything, so these are wonderful. They don't bleed through the paper or anything like that. And they're just really, really good quality. Again, you guys are probably not surprised, but <sighs> I know, I probably went overboard. I got more stickers, you guys. I got more stickers for my planner and I honestly don't even think I'm gonna be able to use all of these because I have like so many already. I might honestly return these, but again, I got these from Amazon. They're super cute. They're just like, but first coffee, <laughs> you know? It's like, I love donuts. Like, come on, like these are fun. These are so fun. And these are the kind of things that, you know, just kind of pick up your mood when you're looking through your planner. So I guess the common theme here, guys, is stay organized, get a planner. Get something to make you motivated to want to write and look at your planner. Have your planner with you at all times. That way you are on it because the last thing you want to do is fall behind. And that is what I am so bent on not doing. I do not want to fall behind. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game because everyone's like, oh, when you're in nursing school, you ain't going to have a life. You can't work. You can't see your friends. You can't do anything. And like, I am a firm believer that if you plan your time accordingly, you can still be able to do a lot of the things that you want to do. So just, just be organized, guys. <laughs> be organized. So get some stickers, get something that's gonna make your planner fun. And I think I think that'll make everything a lot better. Alright, you guys, so the next item I got are trauma shears. So yeah. I think these are gonna be so, so needed. Like, I know when you're gonna be with your preceptor, they might be asking you for some shears, like to, I don't even know. <laughs> so I definitely think this is some pretty good quality. I haven't used them yet, but they looked pretty good. They got a lot of really good reviews on Amazon. So yeah, guys, you guys are going to scream. You're going to scream. This is so freaking cute. I got a badge clip, you guys, and look. Oh my gosh, look, can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. It's Stitch, guys. <laughs> Come on, 90s kids are gonna like understand the nostalgia. Like, Stitch, from Lilo and Stitch, you guys. This is so freaking adorable. Like, oh my God. When I'm in peds and doing like our peds rotation, like, Guys, like just, just having that pin right here. Oh my God. <laughs> this is 
gonna be so fun for the kids, but not even that, like, I feel like even when I'm working with adults, cause I'm, I'm, a, I'm a patient care tech now, like, I feel like this is so cute, it's so different. It will make people smile, you know, it makes people like just be like, oh, you know, oh my God. <laughs> Definitely conversation starter, it's cute. It's so freaking cute. It's gonna bring a smile to like everyone's face, all the patients, and that's what I want. I wanna bring smiles and joy to everybody that's in the hospital because I know it sucks to be there. So if this can bring a little bit of sunshine, you know, get the ball rolling with the patient, you know, I love that. Okay, so the next thing I got off of Amazon, which is might be a little bit strange to some, but I think it's necessary, is a little mouse, a wireless mouse, a Bluetooth mouse. So because my program is a hybrid program, we have a lot of online coursework. So I'm gonna be on my computer a lot. And if I'm going to be studying and taking notes on the computer, X, Y, Z, I feel that a mouse would really help me like just not get cramped because if I'm if my hands are like this while I'm like clicking on on the mouse on the keyboard on the on the table I feel like I, my hands just start cramping am I the only one guys let me know let me down below if, if this happens to you too so I think a mouse just kind of helps me you know move around move click 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 whatever I gotta do and I think that'll come in handy all right so the next thing I got off Amazon was this 2020 lip and cop pocket drug guide for nurses so as a nurse, you know that we, going through pharmacology is gonna be rough. I know that's one of the classes everyone says to watch out for because there are so many drugs that you need to know. You need to know all the interactions, you know, for the different patients that you're, that you're medicating for different things. So if you're doing a care plan that there's a drug and you need to do like the mechanisms and like the actions and all that kind of stuff, I think a pocket drug guide will again come in handy the same way I talked about the calculator earlier because if I don't want to have my phone out, I don't want to look like I'm, you know, texting on Instagram when I'm really just trying to look something up. So having this in my pocket, I think will, you know, kind of negate that confusion and just allow me to to get the information that I need so I can do my care plans correct and I know what drugs, what they're doing so I can explain that to my patients and know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, definitely guys get one of these. I think they are very, very useful. So the next thing I got off Amazon guys are some compression socks. I got them in white because my school requires us to have white sneakers, leather, um, that can be cleaned non-slip so I got some white socks to go along with them and yeah everyone's been saying compression socks are key I currently don't wear them as a tech but I mean I'll probably start wearing them now so we'll see we'll see if these are really as good as people say they say that they're good for athletes they're good for doctors policemen nurses pregnant women runners um, people who sit all day I'll let you guys know the update on these I think um, they will save my feet because you were on your feet all day, guys. I, I, I mean, granted, I already work 12-hour shifts, but 12 hours of clinical, pucha, like, I, I'm just already getting myself mentally prepared for that, so I, I really hope these will save my feet because varicose veins, guys, I am not trying to get varicose veins. The next thing I got, you guys, is a pocket clipboard so this I believe oh there we go so this is a pocket clipboard and it folds flat and that way I can kind of keep that inside of my scrub pocket and oh it comes with I don't even know what this is but it comes with something else and this one in particular that I ordered it has the stickers that have like all the you know the nursing values and important information but this one, you have to kind of stick them on yourself, which I guess is a good thing. So like you can put what you want on the front and on the back, that way it's easy to get to. And like the other things that aren't as important can maybe go somewhere else, like in the middle, where you can use what you want and not put on what you, so basically they give you the choice of kind of customizing it. So that's one thing I do like, but not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying that I'm gonna have to put these on. So I don't know, I guess to each their own. Some people might find this useful. Other people, you might, I mean, might as well just buy the one that's already done for you. So yeah, everyone raves about this. I know nurses who still use their pocket clipboards as new RNs, so that's exciting. I definitely still hope to use this. I've seen doctors even use this, so 
definitely, definitely, definitely. It was expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but I think this was a really, really good buy. So next, I got a pen light off of Amazon. And this one in particular, I guess you would say it's a doctor's pen light and it actually came with the battery, so that's great. So I don't know how true this is, but I've read online that a lot of nursing schools actually don't like you to buy the, the LED pen lights, you know, the cheaper ones, because LED light bulbs are so bright and they can actually like damage somebody's eyesight because think about it, you wouldn't want somebody shining super, super bright light into your eye, that, that hurts, and that can actually like damage something. So this is an incandescent bulb pen light. So the light isn't as uh, bright. It's kind of like, a, it's the one the doctors use at doctor's offices and it's kind of like an incandescent light bulb. It has like a, a yellow light versus like a bright white light. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what that looks like. So this again was pretty expensive. I think I spent almost $20 on this, but my logic was if it's a good quality pen light, it's gonna last me, it's not gonna break after a couple months of use, and I will continue to use this as an RN. So I definitely think this is an investment piece. Again, I got it in black, because I kinda wanted to go to with the theme of like, it's kinda black and neutral, so. Yeah, definitely a good buy. So the next thing I got off of Amazon, ooh, are these sheet protectors, because like I mentioned, I got the note binder, and the thing about binders that I absolutely hate is that you're gonna have papers that just like rip at the, the three punch holes. And this is just so annoying getting those back. I hate carrying folders. So putting them in sheet protectors will hopefully help keep my notes, you know, safe, waterproof, and you know, preserve them for, for future use. So yeah, they were actually a much better deal on Amazon than getting them anywhere else. I think I got 200 for like 10 bucks or something like that. Or I don't know, I'll put everything down in the description, you guys, but trust me, this was actually like the best deal that I found anywhere. So love those. It is never too early in my opinion to start studying for the NCLEX. So what I got for that, a lot of people were recommending it was the Saunders NCLEX RN examination book. So I haven't opened it yet. The plastic is still on it, but guys, I definitely plan to crack this open because I am terrified <laughs> of the NCLEX and, and like passing it and everything that goes into studying for it. I know people say they take like a month or two just to like dedicate like 12 hours a day to studying for this test, so. Whew, guys, I'm just trying to be ahead of the curve as best I can, so I'll let you know how studying goes with this. So, super basic, guys. It's got some basic loose leaf paper to add to my note binder. Nothing special, five star. It comes with the reinforced edges, so again, that helps it not rip out of the notebook, but again, I have sheet protectors, so yeah. And last, oh, not last but not least, but I have some, I already kind of opened them, but I have, uh, what do you call these? Um, binder dividers to divide the different sections. And again, they're white, they're basic, they're neutral. But they have like some like fun patterns. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if it's picking up, but they have like fun patterns. Some are like floral, you see what I'm saying? Some are like, you know, polka dot. So they're um, neutral, they're see-through, but they're a little fun, you know, so. Got those. I actually got an MDF instrument stethoscope and I got the cardiology series. So guys, I love this so freaking much and it is beautiful. I got it in black and rose gold. As you can see the bell on that. Isn't that gorgeous guys? Look, oh my God, like just having that around your neck, like, guys that is freaking cute so i got that from mdf it's, it's a pretty heavy stethoscope like it is it's hefty it's a cardiology level so i forgot what it's called but it has like the t the double tubing so it makes the sound like super crisp super clear i think i spent like 130 on it i want to say the litman 3 I think Lemon 3 is around like 80 something. If I'm wrong, I'll definitely put all the information down below, but 
I think this works wonderfully. I've tried this on my boyfriend. I've tried this on my family. I hear their heartbeat so clear. Absolutely love it. Like, oh my gosh. And I, I just can't stop looking at this. And I know I'm gonna keep using this as a nurse. Last item from Amazon, guys. I promise. I got my nursing shoes. I got my nursing shoes off Amazon. And as I said before, my school requires them to be white leather, no designs or anything like that. So I got, what are these? The Reebok Classic Renaissance for women, if you guys can kind of see that. I think these were the cutest sneakers <laughs> that I could find for nursing. So I think, I. I wear a size 10, you guys, so I have really big feet, but I think these are really cute. They look really nice um, with just about anything, to be honest. They're leather, you can wipe these down. Oh, these are gorgeous. I would definitely wear these like after nursing school. And that's the thing, I didn't wanna get shoes that like as a nurse, I'd be like, Ugh, not wearing those anymore. Cause like, again, I still am doing a whole no buy year. And yes, I understand I bought a whole lot, but I had been budgeting for this. And this is something, these are things that I plan to use right after nursing school and these are all things that i definitely plan to have use out of so i wanted sneakers that i know i would wear with my nursing uniform that i would actually like <laughs> post nursing school so i think these are super super cute i think they were like 60. i'm still debating if i should try to find these somewhere else because i i've heard people saying that they've gotten these for like 40 but i haven't found them so i think these are really really cute shoes and from TJ Maxx, it has absolutely nothing to really do with nursing, but I actually went ahead and got some aromatherapy candles. As you can see, I've already started like burning this one. I got one from Melt Aromatherapy. One is Stress Relief and it's Eucalyptus Mint. And the other one I got was Sweet Orange and Lemon. And it's supposed to be energizing, uplifting, focusing, motivating, so. Definitely, I want some good vibes around with nursing school because I know it's gonna be stressful. I know I have to stay focused. So definitely I have some options to kinda, of, you know, feel zen, feel in the moment, and be able to focus on my work. So I think that's a pretty good purchase. And I haven't really seen anybody talk about this, but I actually got myself an extension cord from TJ Maxx, I think that's where I got this. Because my thing is like, what if you're in the library, right? What if you're away from an outlet? This is a six foot um, extension cord that way you can kind of plug all your devices in, it's fast charging. And yeah, you can get your laptop charged, you can get your phone charged, your tablet. Everything is like still at your disposal. And yeah, if you're not near a plug, you don't have to feel stressed about not getting that one seat that's, you know, by the plug that, you know, everyone else is trying to fight for. Okay, and last but not least, guys, from Amazon. Ooh, everything is getting tangled. This is the bag I got for my clinicals. It's by the Himawari brand. Ugh, the Himawari brand. So it's supposed to be waterproof. It's black with gold detailing on the zippers and some brown accents. I absolutely love it. As a student in clinical, here's the thing, you're probably not gonna get any lockers in the hospital. And I did not wanna get a bag that was fleece or cloth that you know would be really hard to wash. So that way if I put this on a disgusting hospital floor, I can always take this, wash it, wipe it down, good to go. So this is pretty spacious. It has a pretty good amount of room on the inside. So I definitely think this will be able to have everything that I need. I actually also got a lunchbox off of Amazon. I don't have it um, with me, but I'll definitely insert a picture of it somewhere. It is wonderful because it's huge, it's spacious, and for like 20 bucks, I think it's definitely worth it. I can fit all my snacks, all my meals for the day in there, for class, for clinicals, for work. <laughs> so definitely, I think that was a really good purchase. All right, you guys, thank you so much for rocking with me till the end. I know that was a long supplies haul, but guys, I just wanted to show you guys everything I got for nursing school. I am so excited to start. We start in about a week. So yeah, I really hope this inspires you guys, give you, gives you guys ideas on the kind of stuff that might be useful during your time in nursing school. So if you like this video, please hit that like button for more nursing videos. It really helps the growth of this channel. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. 
is lit on this side of YouTube. And please hit that bell icon and hit those post notifications so YouTube lets you all know when I post because uh, YouTube, YouTube is playing games, guys. So thank you guys again, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.